Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Nendoroid Wolverine for obvious topical reasons. And if you're new to the channel, Nendoroids are chibi collectible figures similar to Funko, although in my opinion a lot better for many many reasons. <laughs> And if you know the channel, you know I love to collect my Nendoroids. I provided that little introduction just because I think because of the movie that just came out, this might be some people's first introduction to Nendoroids. So I thought it'd be a good time to finally take a look at this figure. I've had it for a while and, well, the opportunity presented itself. And also joining us today is Nendoroid Deadpool. Again, for obvious reasons. So let's take a look at the figure itself. And I really do love this packaging. I think it screams something more comic book. Not the most intricate thing in the world, although it presents the figure a bit better than, say, other Nendoroid boxes. Spinning it around the sides, you can see the Nendoroid in various poses with the X logo behind. And then on the back here is like a full frame of everything that's going to come with the figure. Not a lot truth be told, but it's not a DX figure either. So we'll take a look at those accessories in depth. So let's just get the figure out of the package. All right, so just one quick little thing, something that you probably didn't see because the figure was covering it is the nice packaging in the background, sort of this explosive X-Men logo design. Pretty cool. Okay, so getting the figure on our rotating stand we can talk a little bit more about how just how good I think this figure looks. Uh, now, this is the comic version of Wolverine. This is not the more recent movie version. I don't think we'll be getting that version unless that movie is as popular as it looks to be and maybe Good Smile Company will make that version. Now, the Deadpool they have is kind of similar. It's not really uh, the movie version of Deadpool, although it's close enough to how that character looks in the movie that it passes. Similarly, this design is pretty simple. I think it really shines in Nendoroid form. Sometimes their superhero suits can be a bit too busy. So my personal preference, I like this figure for what it is. I don't really need a new one, but I could see them doing it. So the way that I like to do these videos now is to just show you the figure, talk about it a little bit, and then get them into some poses while I discuss that process. So now that we've already gone through this stoic pose, let's get them into something a little bit more dynamic. So zooming out just a little bit, here's Nendoroid Wolverine on the Sentinel, uh, damaged Sentinel head sculpt that was provided with the figure. Um, I remembered the name, so that's good. And I'm just going to say this now, I don't know who copied who. Yes, Wolverine has been depicted on a Sentinel head in various iterations of art and sculpture, but this looks eerily similar to the Mezco 112th uh, display, which still looks really good. I'm not sure if one company took inspiration of the other or if they just thought this would be a cool thing to add. Now me personally, I love it when companies add little design bits like this. It makes the figure come to life in a way that it just normally wouldn't. I also really like that they also chibified the Sentinel head. Uh, it's still very like, designed with cracks and rivets and things like that on the head sculpt itself but the colors are muted so that wolverine still stands tall and stands proud and is the prominent feature of the figure i also really like the claws i think that they are long and uh, just powerful and uh, people apparently care about how long wolverine's claws are i, didn't, I learned that that was new for me but uh, I don't mind that they're long. I think that looks cool. I think it makes him look like a stronger character. Getting him on this pose was super easy. Uh, he is articulated, but he's obviously designed in a way to not be super articulated. So, um, And finally, the screaming expression, I think, also looks rather wonderful. So let's get him in a different pose and talk about that. All right, and here we have Nendoroid Wolverine with his unmasked Logan head sculpt, the extra added cowl piece on the back, which looks really cute, and his katana. Um, it's a pretty simple pose, kind of got him into a cool, intimidating look, like he's wiping off the blood off of the sword. Got that from Deadpool. These accessories also add a layer to the figure that I, as a fan, rather appreciate. And as I film this and get to, well, this is the last, like, section of what the figure comes with, it's clear to me that 
two things have happened. The first one is the attention to detail to the sculpt, uh, the hair sculpt, the painting and shading on the hair as well that you can't see, which Nendoroid always does a great job in, or actually for the most part does a great job in, is unmatched. You're buying a very quality figure, and if you love Wolverine or love Marvel Comics, you're not going to be disappointed with what you get. However, there's always going to be this feeling that there could be more. Now, me personally, I don't think this figure needs more. I don't think it's like dishonoring the character in any way by not having more, but I could imagine accessories that would elevate this character to the level of Deadpool. And I'll put that up on the screen now. When the Deadpool DX figure came out, uh, he came with so many goofy accessories that made that Nendoroid go beyond the brand Nendoroid, and it just became a really cool figure that you should probably have. I think that's happened a few times with Nendoroid. I think they do such a good job sometimes with some of their figures that they go beyond the brand name and uh, normies, I guess as you'd call them, which whatever, actually pick up on the figure. Kirby is another example. That figure is so well done that there's never going to be a better Kirby figure than that. So with that being said, I really like this Wolverine Nendoroid. I'm happy with what I've purchased and whether or not you want it is really up to you. I hope this video was able to share a few cool poses and just briefly talk about the figure in a way that is interesting. So let's get to some final thoughts. All right, so in conclusion, I think that you definitely get what you pay for, and if what you see online is what you want, then you're going to get a quality figure. That is really up for you to decide. With that being said, I think that there are other really cool Wolverine figures out there, so this one leans more toward Nendoroid collection rather than just general character collection, if that makes any sense. For example, the Gojo Nendoroid is great, and I think some people would rather have that than the SH figure arts, just because they think that looks better in their collection. This, however, because it's an American comic book, and a lot of American comic book fans do at least appreciate action figures, probably isn't going to be the most popular figure in the world, because they'd rather get a Marvel Legends, or a Mezco, or a Moffix. So, with all that in mind, I am still really happy with this figure. I think it just has a really cool vibe, gives off a cool aura, and I'm not gonna lie, finally looks really really good with my Deadpool figure. Deadpool for the longest time now has looked really great with the Tom Holland Spider-Man figure, and finally, I know it's not Hugh Jackman, but this is a pretty cute setup. So please let me know in the comments below what you think of this figure after this video, or if you have it, let me know what you think of it. I'd really love to get that conversation going. If you like this video, you know what to do, and with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.